Saturday morning, June 16th, 2018. We've got two steps to do this morning. As ready? Let's go. So this is where we are today, this morning. It's about 7.02 a.m. by this place, you know, this is really close to my house, so I drive by it almost every day. And I uh, always like the light in the morning. That water out there is just from rain. We've had a lot of rain. As you guys know, if you see my first couple of videos, it was raining. Um, but this morning I got out, the sun, there's not a cloud in the sky, not using any filters at all. Just uh, gonna shoot this at F11, ISO 100. And I actually decided to shoot this handheld. So I'm off the tripod, I'm out in this field right now. Um, getting a high enough shutter speed where I can go off the tripod. Kind of unusual for landscape photography to uh, be working a handheld, but it's a lot faster. Dial. So, all right, I'll show you what I'm looking at here in a sec. I found a composition that I really liked. Um, the sun is off to my right, camera right, and I've got uh, the lawn grasses with the water in the background. Since the sky has no interest at all, I'm trying to keep that uh, as a very minor, minor uh, player in this photograph. So, F8 at 125, ISO is down low. Uh, around 100 I believe so I'll show you you'll see it in a second I like it so a couple things to remember when you're out doing landscape photography don't feel like you're always chained to your tripod and your polarizer and your big stopper and your little stopper and your graduated filters and all that stuff. Because there's going to be times, there's going to be mornings, there's going to be sunsets when you don't need any of that stuff. You just come out like when you very first started and just shot. And uh, that's what we did this morning. And I think we got some good, good results. The other thing is find the landscape photography around you that's uh, hidden in plain sight. As you can see, I'm right in the middle of a construction zone. I'm literally standing in the middle of a road that's being built. And uh, I've driven by this spot you know, like I said, every day, and uh, finally got out and took advantage of it, because this isn't gonna be here for long. Stop number two is going to be another one of those landscape uh, hidden in plain sight kind of things. It's a, my wife uh, introduced me to this park just yesterday, actually. Like I was saying, it's, it's right downtown and it's got a lot of mature trees and it's just really well manicured and in this, in the morning with the long uh, shadows and the soft light, I think we can get a, a couple of good shots in this little park. So here we are. That's the main drag right there. That's Main Street over there. So this lovely little park is right in the middle of downtown Yorkville. And I like that grove of trees right there. I'm not sure if I like the light on it, but I like that grove of trees. So I liked this composition right here. Um, the trees 
the light on the trees and the light on the grass, the speck, speckled light, whatever, um, kind of draws you in. And the trees actually go in like a half circle to, to bring you in even more. Problem is there really isn't any uh, foreground interest. So I looked around a little bit more and I found this spot here with this little bit of foliage and a stump there. So we're gonna try to shoot that for now. The light is changing so fast, I gotta move. So we're at F11, uh, ISO 100, about 24 mil, and uh, two tenths of a second is the exposure, and uh, two second uh, timer. So here we go. I found a composition that I like. I found uh, some good lights. The only problem is this spot here is in part of Mosquito Village. There's there's just swarms of mosquitoes around here, so have to go real fast. guys so much for watching the videos got a few subscribers now thank you so much Rachel you're the best love your stuff if you guys uh, want to see some good fun videos go check out Rachel Lurch's uh, channel she's awesome so all right hey thanks again for watching we will see you guys all very soon take care